Hi Olga, uh, one more year, uh, thanks for your participation in our observatory. The first question that I uh, want to know is uh, what can you tell us uh, about the BMP uh, Parias Personal Finance Manifesto? Uh, thank you, thank you very much Liliana. I think it's, it's, it's great to have the second sustainability observatory and I'm very happy to be here, thanks for the invite. So as you know that like last year, uh, over a year ago, we uh, announced our manifesto as PF Personal Finance and uh, I also we announced our purpose which is uh, promote access to more responsible and sustainable consumption to support our customers and partners because we think that the consumption is the core of the change so as financial institutions we can reshape the uh, consumption habits and if we can reshape them so that means we can into uh, we can have a positive impact uh, in the change of the environment uh, our commitments what tell about uh, in general about the, all the commitments Sure. We have like uh, seven commitments grouped in three. So uh, the first one I would say like to be an exemplary as a company and employer. Uh, create a sustainable, fair and inclusive workplace, meaning that like uh, diversity in all areas, exemplary management. So there are lots of projects running right now on base of HR and also other departments. It's not only HR who is responsible of this, but like all of us working on the diversity and like being an exemplary as a uh, as managers. The second thing is like as a company have a nutrient impact on the environment. So as you know that in the building we're working we have green energy over here and we're taking lots of actions to decrease our direct carbon uh, emission, uh, the energy savings and lots of projects running right now in the company as well. So if you move to the second group of the commitment is the transfer our business operating models and offers. So the thing is like, as you know, we're trying little by little to switch our uh, like um, operating model to a more positive impact greater one. So expand access to our financial services to a broader range of customers, meaning that like we're trying to reach to the customers that we didn't reach before and we're trying to uh, help them to have an access to more responsible and uh, sustainable consumption because if they can have an access that means we can start the yeah. change and I see a, a very good acceleration right now. Second thing is help our customers to reduce their uh, carbon footprint. The main thing is it starts with the awareness, as I said in some of the meetings. So the thing is like we have to make customers understand what is their impact, what is our impact also so that we can work on it. So uh, this is more collaboration with partners. Uh, to create more uh, sustainable and res responsible services and products so that they can reach to it. Like saying that, let's like, say, uh, renovation of the houses so that they can increase the energy efficiency of the houses or using green energy. There are lots of projects also running on the business side for this. This is mainly, this part is really business. Build a sustainable and inclusive relationship with our stakeholders. So the thing is like, uh, we are working with the partners for these products and services so that we can help our customers. So in here, customers and partners, we play a big role together to switch our impact to a positive impact creating one. Third one is to uh, make a positive impact beyond our business, more like CSR actions, like uh, you know that the digital literacy is quite important because people need to understand how to use the digital uh, tools because the world is changing. This is our uh, commitment. And the other one is financial literacy. So we need to um, educate people about financials. So these are the seven commitments that uh, we are working on as PF and also as Banco Setele. Now, uh, we have uh, four clear pills. Yes. Uh, something uh, about uh, that or what? Uh, sure. I mean, like, uh, we are really focusing on the second uh, group of commitment where we say to transform our business and operating models to and offers. So this is the thing is that uh, we have four pillars, as you say, circular economy, energy transition, mobility and inclusion. 
These four pillars, uh, we have lots of projects running and there are more to come. I can say that like uh, compared to last year, we have lots of acceleration. So for circular economy, I can talk about like virtual cart, renting devices or bicycles. There are lots of no, projects. No auto, other devices. No, uh, no auto, because like renting is very like we know in auto, but this is out of auto business. Uh, and uh, it's also like we see that the market is also moving over there. And the other thing is like we have lots of projects, as I said, like refurbishment of goods, selling these, selling used bicycles, selling used devices and other things. Uh, and it's one of the core, I would say, on this. And then I would talk about like energy transition as it's highlighted, it's really crucial as we look at the global atmosphere right now, as we know that we need green energy as soon as possible because the energy effects everywhere. Like we are talking about EV cars, but EV cars are charged with non-green energy, then it's still polluting. It's not really a positive effect. And because of that, energy transition is very important. So we have lots of projects like solar panel financing, photovoltaic goods, uh, and like uh, there are new ones coming up and also we offered energy go for our customers so that they can switch their energy to green energy. So this is one of the core pillars actually also our PF CEO highlighted that we should accelerate. And if we move to mobility, there are lots of projects running. We're trying to increase our uh, production in uh, electric vehicles and it's going really well. Plug-in hybrids and also bicycles and like scooters which are really like mobility is mobility and green mobility and the inclusion we have some projects running right now like uh, insurance for seniors or like credits for youngsters but there are more projects coming up in this area also okay and uh, to finish uh, on uh, talking about sustainability and looking to the future yes. uh, what do you think about the the, the moment of the bnp pervious uh, personal finance and the, the the world in general uh i think the sustainability topics are accelerating like uh when we started and we're we're more uh, moving towards of course, BNP Paribas started much, much long time ago, like from CIB or asset management, those things. But like customer end is, is like uh, also accelerating a lot. Uh, I can say that PF is working on lots of projects. Like to give an example, like uh, we are right now calculating our auto carbon footprint, which is a big project. Uh, which will bring lots of uh, new projects to us. And there are many projects launched in PF countries and moving forward. I can say that, like, I can compare year by year. The acceleration is very high. And we have the full commitment of uh, Bempe Paribas and PF and, of course, Banco Setelem. So in the world, it's the same thing. I see that, like, uh, all companies who want to exist and be in the market they are really working on lots of sustainability topics and they're trying to switch their business model to more sustainable and uh, responsible one. So we see lots of uh, companies doing uh, reforestation to decrease or like uh, have a neutral carbon footprint. They're doing uh, working on biodiversity projects. There are lots of projects. They're all linked to SDGs. So I can say that like clearly PF is also committed and Banco Setelem. Uh, we have accelerated a lot and I think next year will be much, much better than this year. Thanks, Olga. Uh, your interview are uh, very, very, very interesting and see you the next year. Yes, thank you very much. Thanks a lot.